In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this nice text crawl effect. So this is something like the intro to any of the Star Wars movies. And you can adjust the field of view to stretch out the text however you want. I'm also going to show you different ways you can set up your cameras so that you can either have the stars in the background like this, or you can have them impacted by the field of view as well. So here I have an empty 3D project. I'm just going to right click in the hierarchy, go to UI and create Text Mesh Pro. And now I just have to import Text Mesh Pro Essentials. And now I'm also going to drag in a font. I just downloaded this font from Google Fonts. You can get any font you want. And let's go to Window, Text Mesh Pro, Font Asset Creator. I'm just going to create an asset out of that font. So Generate Font Atlas, save it. Now we have a Text Mesh Pro font. I'm going to call this Crawl Text. And let's just move over to this side so we can see our text. I'm going to change it to use the new font. Now if I go to the anchor here, I'm just going to hold Shift and Alt to set the position and the pivot. And I'm just going to set this to be center. And I'm actually going to resize this. I'll make it the full window. Let's set our font to be center and center. And just from some Googling, I just took the text used for one of the movie intros. So I'm just going to paste it in here. And we'll align this how we want it for our camera better later. So let's select the camera now. And I'm actually just going to align it with the view a bit here. Currently our canvas is set to screen space overlay. So what this means is this is always going to overlay over everything the camera renders. So it's always going to be a, basically a HUD over top of our camera. We want to change this and use world space. So let's set the render mode to be world space. For the event camera, I'm just going to drag in the main camera. And now this canvas will actually be in the world and not over our camera. So now we see if we go to game view, we don't even see it here. So what I'm going to do is in this view right now, where I can see all the text, I'm going to select the camera and you can either hit control shift and F and that's going to align the camera to this view. You could also go up to the game object menu and select align with view, but you can see the control shift F shortcut. That's very handy to use. So now if I look in the game view, we actually see this text and you can see the backgrounds kind of messing with it here. It doesn't look very good. So what we can do is actually go to the Unity Asset Store and let's get a skybox at some stars. I found this one that's free here. So I'm just going to use this one and I'm going to provide the link below. So if you add this one and then just hit Open in Unity, this will take you to the Package Manager where you can just hit Import, then hit Import again. And now you can see we have the real star skybox here. So this has multiple different skyboxes already made. To add the skybox into our camera, all we have to do is go to Window, Rendering, Lighting. And then on here, we just want to go to the Environment tab and we have a skybox material. So in this package, there's already multiple skybox materials made out of all these images. So we can just select one here. So let's go with this sky one. Okay, so now you can see our background is stars. Now I want to make sure my camera looks at this flat so it's not at a weird angle. So let's select our camera and set all the rotations to zero. The position doesn't matter. This can be anywhere you want. You just want it to look flat. So make sure the rotation here is all zeros. And on our canvas, we want to make sure this rotation is all zeros. So if one of these is off, you can see it's going to be rotated like this. And now that we have them all flat, we do actually want to rotate this X. So let's rotate it positive a bit so it looks away. And you can see the, the text is kind of angling away from the camera now. So you can play around with this while it's running later and find a position you like. So I think somewhere around 15 is probably good. So now the, the text is kind of tilted away from the camera. Let's select our text. I'm going to make this a bit bigger, maybe 50. So that's looking a lot closer now. Let's try changing the color to go with some kind of a yellow here. So maybe something like this. Now what we want to do is actually move this text and this canvas 
so it scrolls through all the text and our camera is going to stay in the same space. So if we select the canvas and we go into the game view, you can see if we start adjusting the Y position, it's going to move, but you can see it, it doesn't quite look right. It's not flying back into the, the background like you normally would with the text. So what we need to make sure we do is right now it's moving in the world space. So it's moving up like this. What we need to do is select this gizmo, select local. We want it to move like this. So it actually scrolls back into the, the background. So that's what we're gonna do inside of code. So on the canvas itself, I'm just gonna rename this canvas. I'll call this uh, cr crawl text canvas. Let's add a component. We're gonna make a script. I'm just gonna call this text crawl or text crawler. And this is actually gonna be a very simple script. All we need to do is make a speed variable. So I'm just gonna serialize this, then we can set it in the game. So I'm just gonna call this speed or I'll call it scroll speed. And let's set this equal to 20. Now in update, all I wanna do is start moving this. So I'm gonna use transform.translate. And what I wanna do is I don't wanna use this object itself. So if we look back at it here, what I want to happen here is I want this text and this canvas to move up, but I always want it to move in the direction that the camera is facing. So that way, if we move our camera around, this text is always gonna follow it. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna use the camera here. We're gonna use its up direction. So we're basically gonna move the text so it's always moving like this. And you can see in the little preview here, it looks the same. So right now we're moving the camera. Let's do this with the text. And we can do that by, we can use camera.main and that's gonna get our camera. And then we wanna use its transform.up. So that's the up direction of the camera. Let's multiply that by the scroll speed and then multiply by time.delta time. That's actually all we need to do here. The only thing to make that work and it should be set up by default, but just to be sure, check your main camera. Make sure it has a tag here of main camera. Otherwise it won't find that camera. And that's actually it for the text. So let's test this out. Let's run our game. And now we can see it's scrolling. So let's speed this up a bit just to kind of test it. That's looking pretty good. It's a bit slow, so maybe let's try 40. And I actually want this to start just below the camera. So let's move it a bit lower here. Okay, so it's just gonna start off screen. And you can see it's kind of overflowing off the canvas. I'm just gonna make it a little bit smaller here. So I'm gonna select the, the crawl text. And this is where it's per personal preference, you can determine how you want this to fit the camera. So let's just move it up a bit again. I think this looks a bit better. Maybe make it a bit bigger. I think that might be better. And then you can format your text a bit as well. So like this A that starts on a new line, we can clean that up a little. So the rest here is all preference. Let's try this out now. Let's move it down just below our camera and let's run our game. Make it a bit faster even. And we can probably adjust this rotation a bit. You can see we can try it here at runtime. So this might look a bit better, maybe like 30. So let's set this to 30 and I'm gonna make the font even a little bit bigger. Stretch it out a little bit more. And let's also run this on full screen.
Okay, so now our text is crawling, but you notice it's cutting off here, and this is actually just the camera's clipping pane because of how far we have it away from the camera. So you could either move your camera a bit closer, or in this case, I'm just gonna adjust its clipping plane. So let's just select the main camera. And for the far clipping plane, I'm just gonna add a zero. We'll make it 10,000. So this is just because you can see here when the, when the canvas is actually scrolling up, it is moving in the world past it. So that's your preference, how you wanna fix that. You can either move the camera closer or we can just adjust the clipping pin. So let's try our game now. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. The last thing we wanna add is on our main camera, this field of view, we wanna kinda of stretch it. And we're gonna stretch it fairly drastically. So let's change this, maybe something like 150 around there. And now you see we get this kind of stretch effect. And it looks like it's stretching a bit too far, but I think this is actually just our rotation of the canvas. Let's try lowering this more. Let's try maybe like 15. And now let's move our camera closer. So as you can see, it's a lot of just trial and error to get how you want it to look. Let's try running it like this. And now this looks a lot more Star Wars style. So that field of view makes a huge difference. We might wanna change the angle a little bit more. So I'm just gonna take this off maximized. I think a little bit less rotation. Maybe let's try 12 on the canvas. And there we go. That's looking fairly Star Wars like. So adjust those settings to find how you want it to fit. I think this looks pretty good. The one thing I wanna show, now that we changed that field of view, that is stretching out the background as well to match that field of view. So if you're okay with that, this is perfectly fine how it is. But if you want the stars to look normal, we can actually do that quite easily here. What we need to do is add another camera. So let's just right click in the hierarchy, select camera. And now I'm gonna name this one, I'll just call this background camera. So this is gonna be the first camera that renders. So now what we need to do is with background camera selected, the placement of this camera actually doesn't matter because all we want it to show is the sky box. So with that selected, let's look at this depth field. What's gonna happen is the camera with the lowest depth runs first. So if we look at main camera, it's set as negative one. Let's set this one to be negative two. Okay, and it's set to show our sky box here. So this is only gonna show the sky box. Now let's go to our main camera and for clear flags, we're gonna to wanna to change this. So if we run the game right now, both cameras are gonna render but you see it's showing both the stretched one and the regular stars. So we don't actually want that. On the main camera, select clear flags and let's change this to depth only. And now let's run our game. And notice the stars look normal now. So what's happening is this main camera, it's not actually rendering the skybox in the background. All it's doing is rendering the new stuff on top of the previous camera. So if that's something that interests you, let me know. I can try making some videos on how different cameras work and all the clear flags, but I'm not gonna go into that too much in this video. But now you can see we have the normal stars. So that's up to you if you want them stretched or not. And let's just test this out one last time in full screen. Okay, and now we have some Star Wars crawl text. So what you could do is use this as an intro to your game. And because this is a world space text, you can make your camera move. As soon as this text is done, you could animate your camera to fly off and go look at something else. Um, or it could instantly snap to your player character or a spaceship and start your game right in the same scene. All you would have to do is disable this text canvas and then it's gone and you're good to start the game. 
So I hope this helped. If you have any other suggestions or tips you want to see in the future, just leave a comment below and I'll try to get to them as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.